Hello you lot, I'm here at my house today and I would really like to share one of my favourite recipes with you for churros and chocolate and I'm going to be showing you how to make them heart shaped so you can make them for your special lady friend or your special man friend and get maximum points for effort. And apart from the chocolatey bit, this recipe is vegan so all you vegans out there can get involved as well which is kind of exciting because you always ask me for vegan recipes and the first thing we're going to do is to get the dough ready and I have a saucepan here and I'm going to put 375 millilitres of water in there along with one tablespoon of olive oil, a tablespoon of caster sugar and a good pinch of salt and then I'm going to put that to one side for a second and now I have a big bowl here with a sieve over the top and I'm going to put my flour and my baking powder in and I'm using strong white bread flour for this. You can use plain flour if you want but I kind of like my churros to be a little bit sturdier with a little bit more chew. So sieve 210 grams of flour and one teaspoon of baking powder and that will also be set aside for later. And now the next thing to do is to bring all your stuff in your saucepan to the boil. And once it reaches the boil, you just then need to pour it over the top of your flour. And give it a really good stir with a wooden spoon. So it should be this kind of sticky ball of dough. And if it feels like it's too stiff, then just add a little bit more boiling water until you get to the right consistency. And when it's ready, it needs to be put into a piping bag. Now, because this is quite stiff and you are going to be piping it through a very small star nozzle, um, I normally like to double up my piping bags to make them super strong. Otherwise, you are at risk of bursting your bag. So double up your bag if you can and put all of your dough inside. So just twist your piping bag to push all your dough right down to the end. And as I said, I've got a star nozzle on the end just because they make the prettiest churros. And you can do these straight if you want, but why would you do things straight when you can do things heart shape? And to make the heart shape, I have a bit of greaseproof paper in here. Greaseproof, but I've actually greased it because I don't want these to stick at all. And I'm going to pipe the heart shapes directly onto that. If you find that it's sticking quite a lot and you can't pull your a piping bag away, then you can just snip it with scissors and that works really well. So now it's time to start frying them and I have my fryer here, it's full of oil and I've set it to 190 degrees C, uh, it's nice and hot so now I'm going to pick these up gently, they're pretty good, they hold their shape really well and then drop them in carefully to the oil. And they just need to be cooked for about a minute on each side, sometimes not even that much because they're quite thin. And once they're nice and golden on both sides you can take them out very carefully and put them onto some paper towel just to drain off the excess oil. And then just keep on frying them and piping them out as you go. Once all your churros are cooked, make sure you turn off your fryer or take your pan off the hob or whatever it is, make sure that gets switched off just for safety. And now it's time to dredge the churros in cinnamon sugar and I've got 150 grams of sugar. I'm just going to add a heaped teaspoon of cinnamon to that and give it a really good whisk around, make sure it's nice and distributed. And then one by one put your churros into the sugar and give them a really good toss about. Right, now that your churros are covered in cinnamon sugar, they are delicious as they are, but traditionally they're served with a chocolate dip, and sometimes that's a milky chocolate dip, but I'm going to go rich with chocolate ganache. So I've got 100 grams of chopped chocolate here, and I'm going to pour over that 125 grams of double cream, which I brought just to the boil. And let that sit for a minute just to help the chocolate to melt, and then we'll give it a stir.
And when it's all smooth, it's ready to dunk into. And I'm gonna grab one of these delicious churros and dip it in. Mmm, mmm, wow, that is so nice. The inside is all fluffy and the outside is all crispy. There's so much going on and that chocolate sauce is so delicious and rich. This is gonna make a really nice treat for your friends, for after dinner, for yourselves, for whatever. Why not for a party? Have a party just for these. And I will be back next week with another recipe for you. And I hope you make these because now that you can see how easy they are, you've got no excuse not to. Um, so I will see you next week and don't forget in the meantime you can subscribe to my channel. I'd love it if you did and I'd love it if you shared my channel with other people because I'm so close to having a million subscribers. It's, I can feel it. If you guys can get me there that would be great. I'd be very, very grateful. So I will see you next time. Bye. I'd like to see these all by myself. <laughs>